top things to do in Vegas that are free. Free. Absolutely free. After you lose all your money. Don't lose all your money. <laughs> so Andy and I are here in Vegas. We are not gambling. Instead, we're gonna take advantage of all the free things that Vegas has to offer this week. All right, we are right outside the hotel casino at the Flamingo Hotel here in Las Vegas, and they have an absolutely beautiful animal habitat. We've seen fish, flamingos, ducks. Exotic animals. Yeah, it's very cool. So if you're in uh, Las Vegas, it's a free thing to do. Check it out. So this is very relaxing. You could sit here for a long time watching the fish and the ducks and the flamingos and just relax. Very relaxing. I love the palm trees. They make me happy. <laughs> They take temperatures from 20 below zero to over 120 in their natural habitat. Very, that's why you see this particular species at zoos. In fact, if you Google them, you'll see them standing in snow. Chilean flamingos. Um, I just wanted to let everybody know when people come to Vegas, you know, they spend so much time inside gambling and inside the hotels, which are nice, but I think people forget how beautiful the outside of Vegas can be, especially, you know, during the day and night. So um, we're really enjoying it this morning. The beautiful views, lots of waterfalls, just gorgeous. So remember to get out, you know, wake up in the morning, get out there. I know you've had a hard night, but get out there and look around. It really is pretty. Okay, we are here at the Mirage. And there are actually three really cool free things you can see here at the Mirage. The first is the atrium, which is what we're standing in now. And we're gonna just lump this as one thing since we're all at the same location. And we're gonna show them all to you, but there's the atrium, which we're currently standing in. And they say that if you're losing in Vegas, <laughs> that water and greenery help calm you. So this is to calm all the people who are losing in Vegas. Don't lose in Vegas, win in Vegas. The but, best way to win is don't play. <laughs> so we're in the atrium. We're also gonna show you the aquarium. They have a huge aquarium. Um, I wanna say it's 50,000 um, gallons, but Andy will correct me on that if I'm wrong. You know I will. Um, and there's also the volcano, and the volcano may be better to see at night. Yep. Okay, so let's go. All right, let's go. Let's show you. So 
the Wynn is an absolutely beautiful property. It's beautiful on the inside. They have a beautiful waterfall. One of the best waterfalls I think I've seen in Vegas is outside the Wynn. Um, beautiful artwork. Yeah. And the carousel with all the flowers. <laughs> all the flowers is beautiful. I think this is Mary. Is this your favorite one so far? So far, I think the if I came back to Vegas tomorrow, I'd stay yeah. at the Wynn. The Wynn even has a couple of secrets. I couldn't believe it. There, they had a golf. There was a little golf course in the back, and I thought it was a golf simulator. There's actually a full golf course tucked away in the middle of Vegas. I haven't seen it anywhere. Maybe when we go up in the helicopter tomorrow, we'll see it. But it's an absolutely beautiful golf course at the Wynn that you can't see from anywhere. It's like tucked away, so. That is not free though. Yeah, that is not free. It's $750 a round, but it looks like a beautiful golf course. All right. in the world and you didn't know what to do with it you can have a piece of art commission that's called tulips that's worth over 33 million dollars yes 33 million dollars is the cost of this piece of art So we just went to the pool here at the Horseshoe and also uh, on our top free things to do. Don't forget, you're probably staying here in Vegas, so don't forget to go to the pool. It is definitely worth it, even for a little bit. And uh, splurge and get that cocktail because it's a lot of fun. <laughs> So, That's not free. It's not free. It's very expensive. <laughs> but, and don't forget your sunscreen. Yeah, don't forget your sunscreen, but definitely go to the pool. the Fremont Street experience today. We're going to check out the vibe, see what it's like, and uh, check out what they all have to offer here. Yeah, so this is absolutely free to experience. It's a canopy of light. Um, this reminds me of what probably 80s, early 90s Vegas would have been like, but there's a small portion of it left on Fremont. Yeah, it's very different than the main strip, so if you get a chance, come check it out. Different vibe, different types of people. Near the airport, I see Elvis over in his VW over here. Yeah, There's people selling margaritas. Hi, Elvis. Yeah, this place is jumping. All right, let's go check it out. The 
number one tourist attraction in Vegas and it is free. It is free and there are a lot of people here. I wasn't expecting this many people here, so uh, really, really cool. But um, lots of vendors, lots of fun stuff to do. Make sure you get your picture and uh, enjoy. Have fun in Vegas. Have fun. Okay, everyone, so one of the best evening free events in Vegas is to check out the Fountains of the Bellagio. I believe every 15 minutes there's a water show and these these fountains get so huge they go above the buildings and they're choreographed to music. So when in Vegas, check it out. in Vegas is all the lights. Mm -hmm. Lots of pretty lights. You can even see them from space. Yeah, I think the Luxor, you can see the Luxor light from space. They say it's so bright. Uh, the lights are just beautiful. So get out here at night if you can and check out all of the pretty lights and um, every casino is lit up. Yeah, they, they're amazing. All right. Yeah, free okay. things to do, look at the lights. Until next time, guys. Keep traveling. Keep traveling. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go.